Alright guys, welcome back to part 2 of my Batman Arkham Origins Let's Play. And we just leveled up. So... We got a few more weapons and gadgets in here. Alright. You guys remember we got that memory chip? Put that in here. As in more than one. That's right. And you heard this from the mouth of a crocodile man. His name is Killer Croc. He's already behind bars. Oh, I pity his cellmate. I don't. Let's see what else is on the drone's hard drive. Each of them gets one of these envelopes. I need them delivered tonight. They're all hired killers. The best in the business. Black Mask isn't messing around. Slade Wilson, Deathstroke. Former military, subject of a failed medical experiment. Failed, you say? Garfield Lins, aka Firefly, burns on 90% of his body. His obsession is going to be his end. How unlike anyone I know. Here's a face I don't recognize. Copperhead. Strange. These reports reference a male, not a female. Fourteen escapes, huh? Well, you won't forget not a... What the... Floyd Lawton, a.k.a. Deadshot, says here he's an expert sharpshooter. How on earth? Suspected of many assassinations. Dangerous, but reckless. Street tough named Lester Baczynski. Calls himself Electrocutioner. Shocking. Shiva. Her skill is unmatched. Is that Warden Joseph? Must be how Black Mask got inside the prison. Uses torture for intimidation and entertainment. Eight assassins after your head. What are you going to do? I'm going to find out who is operating this drone. Make them tell me what they know. Then I'm going to find Black Mask and put an end to this. Sir, I may be stating the obvious here, but you do realize that since you and I are the only people who know the battle, those assassins will all fail their mandate if you just spend the evening here. They'll put innocents in danger to attract my attention. I can't take that risk. And you think it's a better idea to just put yourself in their crosshairs? There's only one person in Gotham who can get his hands on something like this. The Penguin. He's been tracking Black Mask. Its next waypoint was a rendezvous with Penguin's men at Jezebel Plaza. I'll make them talk. You're sure this is wise, sir? I know what I'm doing. Well, in case you change your mind and want to train tonight instead, I'll keep your training facility active. The Batwing is prepped and ready to take you to Jezebel Plaza, sir. Now let's go to the bat suit chamber because I actually uh, got some limited edition skins. We'll do this one. Apparently we have to unlock them, but they are in the game for us to use, which is pretty cool. Alright. There we go, guys.
Definitely not the storm doing this, guys. shot and probably the hostage too but they won't expect an attack from above nobody ever does that thing out there with you are you crazy we were answering the service call that's it oh! bye bye i quit Open this bitch up. I didn't notice guys last time my button pushing. Oh shit, wrong button. I didn't notice last time to the guys that my button pushing was a little bit loud. I apologize for that, so I'll try to keep it a little bit quiet this time. Get out of here, wrong button. You think it's the guy that hired us? You piss him off or something? Get yourself to safety and call the police. They'll want to see. What's going on here? Okay, I will. This was just supposed to be a service call. Fix the tower in and out. Whoever you are, come near the cost of the Bye bye. I can I can fix the tower. Whatever you want. Just Please don't hurt me. All I want is for you to get yourself to safety. Right. It's shit. The door is locked, so... I don't think this tower malfunction is from storm damage. I need to set up a crime scene and find out what happened. And I should start by identifying the victim. The victim's name is David Shannon, a Gotham Optics employee sent here to repair a faulty network tower. But what killed him? Scanning the DNA impact on the wall should provide an answer. analysis indicates the victim was killed by some kind of explosion originating at that access panel I should scan it for additional clues what the hell it looks like the panel was rigged to detonate when swiped with a key card someone really didn't want this tower repaired and it looks like that same someone left a set of fingerprints behind Alfred, I'm uploading some prints for analysis. Let me know what comes back. Certainly, sir. Searching now. Um, here we are. They belong to one John F. He's a rather unremarkable criminal. Small jobs, mostly. And this... Hmm. That's curious. What's curious? Mr. Baker's dead, sir. His body was recovered from the Diamond District just under an hour ago. Looks like someone's tying up... This card has the codes I need to hack any of the network tower's access panels. There we go. Alright guys, I'll skip a little bit of that, but figured it out.
it's kind of confusing to tell me to rewind stuff and then all we needed to do was look at that evidence, so get through it though. <laughs> Contact the GCPD. Let them know about the body. Send the data for my analysis, too. Certainly, sir. Does this mean you found the source of the disturbance? I think so. Well, well, if it isn't the King's thug himself. Figured it was only a matter of time before you showed up. Sorry about the mess downstairs. Who is this? Think of me as a great big mystery. One you're never going to solve. Enigma, then. Oh, you must think you're so clever. Well, how's this for clever? I've taken control of towers all over the city. As long as they're active, your bat wings are useless. And it looks like it's gonna stay that way. I mean, this one's practically begging to be taken offline. And you still can't hack it. Pun intended, of course. going to like this. What are you talking about? Wouldn't you like to know? With the jammer offline, I can travel here with the bat wing. Those relays are part of a distributed security system. I wonder what they're protecting. That must be where Enigma set up shop. I need to pay him a visit. control of the Batwing, sir. I suppose it's off to Jezebel Plaza, then. That's the plan. But then I've also got a lead on Enigma. Well, don't overthink it too much, sir. We both know you'll eventually wind up doing both. Alright, guys, I'm going to cut off part two right here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in part three.